You need to change your Facebook and Instagram strategy today. Stay tuned. Well, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host, Victor, and today we're going to be talking about some of the differences between Facebook and Instagram. And I hope this video overview of, of how you can use both of these platforms to help reach and engage your students and parents. So we're going to start with Facebook because I think Facebook is at least the one that we know the most about. And you see, whether or not you like Facebook, it's clear that most of our parents are engaging with Facebook on a semi-regular basis. And so this is why I think our Facebook channels should be focused on reaching and informing parents. For example, you should have a student ministry Facebook page that is focused on resourcing and informing your parents. Here are two really easy ways you can do this. You as a student person are looking for resources to help equip your parents deal with different things. There are tons of resources online and Facebook and Facebook pages are great ways for us to get some of these resources in front of our parents. What we do with our Facebook page is once a week we find a different resource focused on a different topic and we share it with our parents. For example, last week we shared a resource on LGBTQ and Christianity and we shared that to our parents and so now our parents have this resource that they can reference and use in the discipleship of their student. Another really good way to use Facebook is to inform. I think Facebook is a great way to tell parents about events that are coming up, but We'll get to Instagram in a second. Facebook is not the place that you want to build hype for an event. No, Facebook is the place that you want to inform about the events. So we want to post just the information that a parent needs to get their kid to an event. On Facebook, we may post, hey, we have a dodgeball tournament, 5 to 7 p.m., this location, registration, here's the link. Boom, post to Facebook. And that's all a parent needs to know if their student is going to be able to attend or not. Uh, we'll talk about how to promo an event on Instagram here in a second, but strictly on Facebook, we want to resource and we want to inform parents. And the way we do this is by sharing resources and sharing information. How do we get our parents to follow our Facebook page? Well, there's a couple of different ways, but the way that I do it is through email. I send one monthly email out to all of my parents every month. And at the bottom of this email, I just have a blurb that says something along the lines of, hey, make sure to check out our Facebook page. We post weekly resources and you'll find all the information for all of our upcoming events on Facebook. And then I'll link our Facebook page. Now, parents want to be informed about what their kid is going to want to do. They will follow your Facebook page. We just need to be kind of proactive in getting them to follow the page. You see, if I just tell a parent on Sunday morning, hey, follow our Facebook page, they, they may remember it for 30 seconds, but once they get into their car, their kids are going crazy, they're thinking about lunch, they have totally forgotten that they need to go follow our Facebook page. But when a parent is sitting down on a Tuesday evening going through their email and they see your email, they are going to be much more likely to click that link and go ahead and follow. So those are my tips for Facebook. On to Instagram. Now, Instagram is a little bit different because we're not just focusing on engaging with parents. You see, parents are on Instagram, but our primary audience on Instagram is students. So we have to change the way that we engage on Instagram. Instagram is much more student oriented. And so we want to post content that are going to cause students to get excited for things and to share things. You see, Instagram is a great platform to reach new audiences. And the more student shares your content, the more eyes are going to see it. If you have a student leadership team and you really want to start discipling them, you can tell them that sharing things on Instagram could be the thing that gets a friend to come to church for the first time and hear the gospel. There's a lot of discipleship that can happen here, but we want to make our student ministry look awesome on Instagram. Even if it's not awesome, we want to make it look like it is the best thing ever because we want to encourage students to come and hear the gospel. 
Now, we don't want to be fake on Instagram. We don't want to create some persona that we're not, but we want to engage students. This is where posting fun camp recap videos goes a really long way. This is where posting photos from our most recent event goes a really long way. We should stay away from graphics on Instagram. Keep the graphics for Facebook. Parents want the information. Students want the fun. And if we can convince students that we have a fun student ministry, then the discipleship can follow. Post in the description a couple of examples of Instagrams that I think do a really good job at this. I'll be the first to admit that not all the Instagrams that I'm going to link down in the description do a very good job at sharing the gospel. I think the gospel is above all, and that needs to be our first and foremost priority. The accounts that I'm going to link in the description do a really good job at making their student ministry look fun. You taking the pr and prioritizing the good news of the gospel and taking this really fun aspect that we want to communicate to our students and merge them, I think we set ourselves up for some really crazy success on Instagram. Just a couple of weeks ago, I got a DM to our student ministry Instagram from a parent that, that said something along the lines of, it said, hey, I'm bringing my student to, to student ministry tonight because your student ministry looks like it has a strong community. And all she had known was our Instagram. And so if we can portray these really core things to people on Instagram, it will attract students and families. So Instagram is less about information and more about engaging. How can we engage our students and how can we engage the students that we want to reach? Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, let me know down in the comments, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, what should I make next? I have a couple of ideas floating around, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this video just helped reshape the way that you approach both Facebook and Instagram. I'll be making some videos that give you some more tangibles or how to's here in the near future. Guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and God bless.